Hi there, this is the Business Day CEO Forum, and I'm here standing with the former governor of the Central Bank of Kenya, Mr. Patrick Joroge. I know I got that correctly. My name is Elizabeth Musa, by the way, and I'm here to speak to you. I just want to get your thoughts on the conference as a whole. Is this your first time attending? And what have you, I mean, what are the things that you've learned from this conference? What are the things you're taking away from this conference as you're about to leave? Thank you, Elizabeth. Excellent question. I, and really, this is an excellent conference. Uh, Business Day has uh, done a very good job in bringing together almost 200 uh, CEOs in Nigeria. Um, there are several state governors. Um, there are other um, institutions represented, um, consultancy groups, etc. Having a discussion about the leadership in tough times. And really, we are in tough times. And uh, the tough times will probably not end anytime soon. So it is important to know how to lead how to deal, lead in our companies as we go forward. Um, obviously, very conscious that we are not leading for leading's sake. We are leading for the benefits to be felt by the population, the country, etc. So I think I've uh, had a great time uh, understanding some of the constraints, um, hearing different perspectives. I made uh, the key. Uh, the keynote, the address. And it was um, brilliant. And thank you very much. And uh, and I think it helps to sort of put things on the table and for people to digest and indeed also, you know, see what they can learn from uh, from those points. So I really think it's a great uh, um, forum. It's the 16th. So I, I think Business Day is doing a great job just uh, doing it one year after the other. Um, and maintaining that conversation is something that definitely we look forward to. Mm. And so what, what do you think about the Africa continental free trade area as an instrument for intra-Africa trade? Yeah, the African continental free trade area is a very important initiative uh, for the sub-Saharan Africa, really, but indeed all of Africa. Um, at the end of the day, we cannot stand alone. Uh, the, there are a lot of commonalities. There are a lot of things that we can help each other as we move in terms of development. And trade is one of those areas that can really be helpful in development. So benefiting from economies of scale, benefiting from uh, creating supply chains in the country as opposed to elsewhere. And indeed, this is something that uh, we all understand is viable um, with political will. And indeed, if uh, CEOs and others you know, join in that space. So I really think uh, this is a great, it's probably uh, the best thing that has happened in the last, uh, I don't know, 20 years in, in, in Africa. Now we have to implement it. And uh, implementation is really where we need to sort of spend our time and effort, et cetera. It is true there are some elements of it that have been implemented faster than others. By the way, intra-Africa trade is not very much. Yeah? Uh, we only trade about 15% of uh, our, all our exports and imports. Only 15% of that is between uh, the other, well, within Africa. So you have 85% which is trading with the rest of the world. So we need to work to create the correct limits, uh, the correct uh, directions and, yeah, whatever frameworks we need to expand that trade. But having said that, there are some things that are going faster than others. And I think there is this sense that we need to lower the barriers for trade in goods. Um, and uh, this fast things like uh, having better payment system, having uh, uh, better lowering, let's say, the tariffs, you know, and indeed uh, reducing all the non-tariff barriers there are, you know, rules, etc. cetera. Um, so those are generally, there, there's a lot of action to push that. But I made the point today that we need to move even faster on the services side. 
And that is something that I think, uh, unfortunately, has been left for like the second phase, whatever that is. And my point today is no, 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 no. Actually, services is so very important if we want to create jobs. Manufacturing won't create enough jobs for the, our, young, our youth that are coming. We need to create something like uh, 15 million jobs annually by 2050. We are not even there. We are creating 3.7 million jobs only. And manufacturing will not generate that many more jobs. So it has to be services. So it means we have to have a better trade in services, supporting that in various ways. And I think it is good to have that conversation um, in front of all these CEOs and see what will happen. Amazing. And you're doing something, you've done something really excellent. I mean, you've spoken about payment systems. You've done something really excellent in Kenya, introducing M-Pesa. Um, what can, you've made it widely accepted in Kenya. What can Nigeria learn from this? Okay. Thank you. So, M-Pesa is to be seen in the context of innovation. Um, we do understand innovation is what will continue to drive let's say, economic growth, outcomes, etc. So we understand all that, and I think, and this is a global issue, right? It's not just Africa or Nigeria or Kenya. And the question is, um, in Kenya, there is actually a good example, which is the Mpesa story. So how did this sort of expand? That's your question, Elizabeth. And I think there are many elements. The first is that, it was a solution for a problem. Quite often, we mistakenly put together, uh, let's say, a solution for something, but a solution for a problem that doesn't exist. And the best example of this is all these people that talk to us about uh, blockchain and this and uh, distributed ledger technologies, etc. Well, fine, they, these are good technologies. But on the other hand, get a solution. Let them be a solution for a problem. So the use case is the one that is most important. So this, this is to emphasize that Mpesa had a very, um, let's say, important use case, which is sending money home. And uh, that is a problem across Africa. And indeed, once it began to be used, um, it, two things happened. The first is people who are not connected to the financial sector um, that were excluded became included through this uh, M-Pesa platform, right? And we look at Nigeria, for instance, and Nigeria actually has a very high, uh, or let's say the, the, the percentage of people that are included in the financial sector is not as high as it should be. And especially when you look at the dimension of gender, women are highly excluded, you know. So this would help because they, they are, there's a problem. They are trying to get money from their husband or their children in the city or whatever, or they are making payments. So that is one thing that happened, the improvement in terms of financial inclusion. Secondly, the, what also happened is that you had a, an ecosystem that was created that is beneficial to Kenyans. Um, today, there's a very robust ecosystem that has been built around that. Yeah? I mean, not only you pay, pay, you pay for electricity and things like that, but other things, you know, health, um, insurance, microinsurance, um, you have credit payments. So there's an ecosystem that has been generated and that is beneficial. So I think this example um, has been highlighted in many forums, um, and I think Nigeria and others, um, not just Nigeria, it's actually around the world, you know, they're trying to implement it in their own space, you know. So I wish everybody well on this. I mean, they, it is, it is, it's a lesson that we learned, and I think it's a lesson that others would, uh, would also learn. Thank you very much, Sal. I'm going to ask you one last question. Nothing related to business, nothing related to finance. What do you like mostly about Nigeria? This is my first time in Nigeria. And uh, what I love the most is music, the Nigerian music. Um, if you look at my playlist, it's, there's a lot of Nigerian things. I quoted Rude Boy, right? 
um, I, I mean, I really like Reason with me is an excellent track, right? Uh, obviously, that's the P, P2 square P2 sort square. of space, right? Yes. Um, okay, you have Ariesta, mm -hmm. excellent. Wow. Only, she's only 22 or something like that, yeah. you know. I haven't really listened to her second album. The first album, well, I guess it was a second album. And it's excellent, you know, with Rush and all that. Um, uh, so the music to me is what I really like. Um, there's a lot of, there are some that I'm not very excited about. Um, but I think, oh, Davido is very good. Um I'm partial. I prefer Davido to Banner Boy, believe it or not. Wow. Um, and, uh, but then there are others, right? Uh, there's one who passed away who is also very good. I forget. You know, Chemi. Is it Chemi? You know, the uh, Cheki. Cheki. Oh, Egwon. Egwe. This is, the track is called Egwe. Uh, maybe we're just, maybe the pronunciation is getting me yeah, to be Chike. 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 He died. Mobad, 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 exactly. But Chicken is still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he's, Mobad, yes. yeah, so is that, yes. so yeah. that is a very, um, well, so you can see, we can talk a lot about a lot. Niger music, yes. you know, I love it, I love it, yeah. Um, I have yet to, yesterday we tried the pepper soup, pepper soup. oh, it was really hot. Jollof rice? I tried the jollof. Uh, but the pepper is the one that remained with me for a while. Wow. <laughs> wow. It, was, uh, it was way beyond what I was used to hard handling. But maybe I need to come back again, you know. Yeah. But I, if there's something I would have wanted to see, uh, was actually to have a conversation with the musicians. I would have loved to do that. Uh, Probably on your next visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You should, you they, should they are actually yeah. sending... They are your best uh, ambassadors. Yeah. Your best ambassadors. I mean, it's true. The, the politicians quite often want to be our ambassadors. But the musicians, I mean, they didn't. They got into my iPhone. Yeah, it's just like that. You're mentioning all of these names and you knowing the artists, knowing the songs, it's beautiful. Very good. Thank you so much, sir. I hope you enjoy Nigerian music for the rest of today, for the rest of your stay. And have an amazing time in Nigeria. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you.